If you think you've noticed an abundance of grasshoppers the last few weeks, well, you'd be right. Tonight, Q2's Chris DeRose has more on this pesky story. If you've walked outside in the last week or so, you've probably noticed them, grasshoppers. And while it's not an uncommon sight at this time of year, what is uncommon is their almost endless numbers. Surprisingly, this perfect storm of insects was brought on by the weather. If we have a drier spring or a wetter fall in the preceding season, that it can be a season that where we could get a bit more grasshoppers. And this year, we had a combination of both. Amy Grand Prix, a horticultural assistant of Yellowstone County, puts it more simply. I think we have a plague. <laughs> I'll just say it right now. We have a plague. And this plague eats almost everything in sight. I've seen them eat everything from my hollyhocks and lilies to the grass and everything in between. Whatever's in the way and if they have eaten everything else, they'll move to something else. They even eat each other. Yes, that's right. They're cannibals. And other than being food for one another and for birds, grasshoppers are just a nuisance. So how do we cope? The big thing is as a homeowner and in an urban location, we kind of have to do battle, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat, so to speak. There are many ways to do battle, of course, from pesticides like seven to floating covers to protect gardens. Ultimately, when grasshoppers lose their food source, they move on. But when I asked Amy what the silver bullet is in the fight against grasshoppers, she said this. It's called winter. <laughs> Yeah, winter will come, yes. <laughs> it seems winter can't come soon enough. Reporting in Billings, Krista Rose, MTN News. That's a good reason for winter. And if you'd like a free brochure on grasshoppers and ways to protect your lawn and garden, you can head to KTVQ.com.